Hey guys, here is JNM with a new Armory 3D tutorial for Armory 0.6 Alpha and Blender 2.8, in which I explain how to shoot a projectile. You can get the latest version from the Armory 3D download page. Just click the button Download Now. Here you can decide whether you want to support the development of the engine or you press No Thanks. And then you come to the downloads. I downloaded the Alpha 0.6 for Windows 64 bit and this contains Blender 2.8. After downloading this, you can open the GitHub page and here you have some Armory examples, some projects that you can use for learning and I downloaded the templates that contains an FPS demo and I will use it for this tutorial to show you how to shoot bullets. Here you can see the folders for my downloads, the examples, then the templates that we use, a folder with tutorials and an Armory folder that contains Blender. I start this Blender executable now which contains and loads the Armory 3D engine. Ok, after that I open the first person player project in the templates folder. Here is the Blender project file. And the scene is loaded, here you can see we have an environment, a very simple one and a player that carries a gun. I press the comma key on the numpad to focus it. And to start the game, you can press F5 or you press the play button. And here the game has started and my first impression is that it is really faster as the previous version 0.5. The rigid bodies of the objects react very noticeable when they are hit by the bullets. So very nice, but what I want to show you now is how the shooting is implemented and what you have to do in your project to shoot projectiles. So let's have a look here at the gun, because I think that the gun will have a script, a so-called trait, to actually shoot objects around. So with the gun selected, I open the objects panel, and here you can see in the section armory traits that we have a gun controller, which is a hack script. When you press the Edit Script button, the Hex Editor is opened, which is basically VS Code. And here's the Gun Controller class, which extends the class Trait. And we have a few member variables. For example, the Fire Frequency, which is marked as Property, so that we can change it from outside of the script. Then the Fire Point, I'll come back to this in a moment. The Fire Strength, with that the bullets are shot. And we have two sounds, two wave files for shooting. Ok, in the notify on init method, that is called when this gun controller class is initialized, we get the projectile spawn point. Let's have a look at this in the blender scene, it has to be a child of the gun. And yes, here it is, it is just an empty object. You could adjust the spawn point for the bullets when you change the location. Ok, but we keep it as is and go back to the script. After getting the fire point, the wave files are loaded and assigned to the members soundfire0 and soundfire1. And in the notify on update method, that is called on every frame, is checked if the left mouse button is pressed to shoot projectiles and play the fire sounds randomly. Here the fire frequency is taken into account so that we can hold the left mouse button down and fire all the time with the defined frequency. To play a sound randomly, the method random is used, and if the result is 0, soundfire 1 is played, and soundfire 0 in the other case. But now let's have a look at the shoot method. We spawn an object, called projectile, and an object with this name has to be in the active scene. Then we move this object to the location of the fire point, and then we get the rigid body that has to be attached to this object. The next step is to get the direction from the current object, which is the gun. And this is used in the method setLinearVelocity, which is actually shooting the object in this direction and multiply it with the fire strength. This timer task is also very interesting, it removes the used projectiles after 10 seconds, just to save resources. Let's start the game and see if this timer task really works. I'm shooting now a lot of bullets. And then we have to wait a few seconds, 10 to be precisely, and then the projectiles are removed. 
Okay, this works, now let's see where this projectile object is actually located in the scene. Here I found it in the outliner, but the problem is that I can't navigate to it. It also took me a while till I found out what to do, how to solve this, till I opened the section Collections and here you can see that it is assigned to the Collection 2 and when you go to this collection in the outliner, you can see that it is disabled in the viewport and in the render and when I enable this, I can navigate to the object. Okay, here it is, just a yellow ball. And now let's adjust this a little bit, go to edit mode and modify the topology. Nothing special, just that we see that we can also shoot with objects other than yellow balls. Okay, looks quite funny, I think we can go with that. And we can also change the color to a red tone. Then I press F5 to start the game and we should be able to shoot these strange things. Okay, this seems to work, but there is one problem. The rotation of the projectile is always the same, no matter in which direction the player is looking. And of course this looks weird, we can see this here in slow motion. So let's correct this in the gun controller script. To set the rotation of the projectile to the player's rotation, we first have to understand the hierarchy of objects. The player has an armature and the armature has a gun attached. To set the rotation now for the projectile, we can use the setFrom method of the transform and then assign the rotation of the player. The script is attached to the gun, so we are the gun. We have to go two steps upwards in the hierarchy to get the player, then the transform object and finally the rotation. This rotation I can use now as a parameter for the setFrom method and then I start again and see if it works. And that's it, when we shoot now, the projectile is facing in the direction of the player. Okay, the last thing that I want to show is how to attach the rigid body to the projectile. You find this here on the physics tab. And here you can see the rigid body is attached, it is dynamic and for the collision shape a sphere is used. Alright guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you like this channel then don't forget to subscribe. There will be more videos for Armory, if you have any suggestions add these to the comments. You can support me by being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for this in advance, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.